Good morning, PBC Youth. This is Coach. Uh, this is the fourth Sunday of the new year. Just want to remind you that um, this year we're going to be focusing on reimagine. That's our theme. That's our word for this year. I want you to make sure you're reimagining, rethinking, refocusing on your goals um, and what it is you have in your heart, what it is that you desire. Um, we're getting into the new year. We're getting into the swing of things. And I want to encourage you, um, you know, a lot of times at the beginning of the year, we start off with goals. We start off with things that we want to change, things that we want to uh, do better uh, through this year. I want to encourage you. Now is not the time to stop. As we get into the flow of the year, we have to make sure that uh, we continue, continue uh, pursuing our goals and continue to follow what it is in our heart. We're going to continue looking at Proverbs and we're now in Proverbs chapter two. And I want to look at verses one through five. It says, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. All right. I want you to understand there's a couple of key words that we see that pop out in this passage of scripture. First, it says that you have to receive the words. Then it says you have to treasure the commands. Then it says incline your ear. Then it says apply your heart. And then it tells us to lift our voice or cry out. Then it also says to seek. So what we get from this passage and what we need to understand is that getting wisdom, growing, getting better, maturing, is intentional. It doesn't happen by accident. All of these words describe us doing some type of action. So as you think about Proverbs, if you think about getting wisdom, as you think about growing, as you think about continuing to go after your goals, and you think about making good decisions, these are not easy things. But I want to challenge you as young people to embrace challenges, embrace uh, doing hard things. You have to understand that discipline is required for you to get where it is you're trying to go. And understand this, time is precious. And I want you to understand that the quicker you can understand things, the quicker that you can get wisdom, the better off you'll be. See, oftentimes as a young person, we don't want to listen to the adults in our lives because we think we know it all. I'm here to tell you, you don't. And oftentimes what an adult or a person of wisdom is trying to do is get you to take a shortcut. We're trying to get you to take a shortcut. There's things that we've learned in our experiences that we want to share with you so you don't have to go the long route in your de to your destination. So trust us. Trust the adults in your life. Trust the God-fearing people in your life and go to them. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to get clarification on things. You have to understand in order for you to get wisdom, in order for you to grow in this new year, it's going to have to be intentional, meaning you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to ask questions. You're going to have to receive words. You're going to have to apply your heart. You're going to have to cry out. You're going to have to seek. Seek the answers that you need. Go get the wisdom. It don't always just come to you. You have to go and get it. So I want to encourage you this week, go get what it is that you need. If you're struggling with a class, go ask a teacher. If you're having trouble in sports, get with your coach. Get some extra work in. If you're having trouble getting your instrument down for band, go and get some extra work. Wisdom comes to those that go and get it. So my encouragement to, this, to you this week, go get it. Go after wisdom. Seek with all your heart and you'll get it. Be blessed. Have a great week.